let's look at how we can just simplify these fractions. So with 4 eighths, you want to look at this and figure out what number can go into both 4 and 8. So what can I divide both 4 and 8 by? I could use 2 or I could use 4, either one of those. If I use 2, I'm going to have to do it two different times. If I use 4, it's going to simplify straight to the answer. So I'm going to divide both numbers by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And that is as far as we can simplify because there's nothing that will divide into both 1 and 2. For this next one, 25 and 45, think of a number that can go into both of those. They both end in 5, so let's use 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5, and 45 divided by 5 is 9. Nothing will divide into both of these, so that's our final answer. Let's look at one more example. Again, something that will go into both 12 and 100. I could use 2 or I could use 4. I'm going to use 2 to show you what it looks like when we have to do it more than one time. So 12 divided by 2 is 6 and 100 divided by 2 is 50. These are both even so I can still divide them both by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 50 divided by 2 is 25. There is nothing that will go into both 3 and 25, so that would be my final fraction.